C++ class member functions. A member function of a class is a function that has its definition or its prototype within the class definition like any other variables got defined. It operates on any object of the class on which it is a member and has access to all the members of a class for that object. So, whenever we define one member function within a class, then either we can define only the prototype and also along with the class body as we defined our respective variables within the class. And those member functions, whatever will be defined within the class, can access all other members within the class itself. So, let us go for one example to show. Here is a class, name of the class is box. Under the public scope, we define three variables, double length, double breadth, double height and we are having another member function here that is double get volume and it takes nothing as input argument. So, we know that how to calculate the volume of a respective box. We know that we are supposed to multiply length, breadth and height and then the volume will get calculated. So, that is why this get volume is a function from its name it is getting clear to us that it will calculate the volume of a box. So, here you have seen that here we have defined the only the prototype of the respective member function get volume here. So, it returns the box volume. Member functions can be defined within the class definition or separately using scope resolution operator. Now, let us go for one practical example. So, here we are having one class, the name of the class is box. Under the public section, we define these three variables and here we are not defining only the function prototype, but we are writing the function body here. So, that is why we know how to calculate the volume of a box and the formula is very simple. We are supposed to multiply length, breadth and the respective height of the box. So, you are multiplying them. All the, all the variables are of the type double. So, after multiplication also the result will be the product will be double. So, it returns a double. If you like, you can define the same function outside the class using the scope resolution operator that is double colon as follows. That means, we shall define our class say up to this level, we shall define our class up to this level where only the function prototype will be written. I want to define my, my function outside of the class. In that case, you are supposed to write in this way double box get volume void and there is a respective code here. So, we can define our member functions in two different ways either within the respective class body or we shall define the prototype and we shall define the class body outside of the class using class name colon colon and colon colon is known as scope resolution operator. So, here we are having a full length program for us for discussion. Here the name of the class is box under the public section we are having three variables. So, that is a double length, breadth and height. Here we are having one function which we discussed earlier that is double get volume which takes nothing as input argument and we are having another three member functions set length, set breadth, set height. Both of them will return nothing but both of them will be taking double variable as input argument. So, here we are having this get volume function which we defined earlier also and here we are having this set length. The length whatever will be passed that will be assigned to the member variable length. So, this BRE which whatever will be passed will be assigned to the member variable breadth. Here also it will be assigned to the member variable height. So, now in the main function we are defining two class objects. So, object 1 is box 1, object 2 is box 2 under the class box. We are having this volume defined locally within this main function and then box 1 dot set length, set breadth and set height. So, we are passing this double data so, so that they will get assigned to the respective variables. So, here we are having this box 2, here we have passed 3 double data. So, they will get assigned onto the respective member variables and then we are calculating the get volume, we are calculating the volume of 
box 1 it will be assigned to volume the volume will get printed now we are going for box 2 dot get volume the volume will be calculated and will be assigned to the respective variable volume and the volume will get printed in this way the program will work but i think i require one practical demonstration to show you that how this program is working and with further explanation on the same so here is the demonstration for you in this program we have defined one class known as box the name of the class is box under the public scope we have defined three member variables length breadth and height of type double and four member functions and first member function is get volume and other member functions are setter functions that is set length set breadth and set height so the, here we are having this member function declarations so outside of this particular class we are going to define the respective member function bodies so that's why we should be mentioning that this particular member function is of the box member function so that's why we have used this one as scope resolution operator so get volume will just multiply this length breadth and height and the value will be returned we know that length breadth and height all of them are of the type double so the return argument after doing the multiplication will remain as double type in case of set length the input argument length of type double will be assigned to the member variable length accordingly so bre is getting assigned to the member variable breadth accordingly and this height has got initialized with this input argument that is hei now in the main function we have defined two objects under the class box one is the box one another one is the box two the double volume variable has got initialized with value zero after defining so now we are calling all the three setter functions to set this length breadth and height of the object box one similarly for box two we have called the respective all setter functions now to calculate the volume from box one we are using the member function get volume and the volume is the output argument and the volume is getting printed and then volume is equal to box two dot get volume and then here this volume is getting printed and return zero is the return value of this main function as main function was supposed to return one integer so in this way the program has been written now let me let me execute the program through the option in this id dev c++ compile and run so if you run this code we are getting this output like this one so volume of box 1 is equal to 210 and volume of box 2 is equal to 1560 accordingly so this volume have got calculated through the member function that is our get volume okay now let me execute the same using gnu plus plus compiler so i'm going for this one so g plus plus proc 62 dot cpp minus o output is a so a dot exe will get produced after doing the compilation successfully and then we are executing the code by issuing the uh, file name a.exe so a is there so volume of box 1 is 210 and volume of box 2 is equal to 1560 so you see the depth c++ output and this gnu c++ compile program output they are same in this way we have explained how this program is getting executed we have explained the program execution line by line Thanks for watching this video.